Hello traders everywhere, Adam Hewison here, co-founder of Market Club with your midday market update for Thursday, the 22nd of September. And what a day it's been so far. I want to start off by saying there's a Russian economist who died by a firing squad, but he had the answer that the Fed in Washington is looking for. So what's the answer to our current economic problems? The problem we have is the Fed and government are fighting to shore up a very powerful cycle that made America great, and that is capitalism. I'm not sure if you've, how many of you heard of a gentleman called Nikolai Kondratiev, who was a Russian economist who came up with this economic theory. It goes something like this. Every 50, 40, 50, 60 years in a capitalistic society, the market peaks and then turns down and goes into a recession slash depression. Nikolai Kondratiev, because of these findings and other work he did on cycles, was summarily executed in 1938 by a firing squad. It would appear that these cycles guaranteed the rebirth of capitalism, and that did not sit too well with the Communist Party, who at that time wanted to rule the world. So doing some rough math, you can look back and say in 1930 we had a depression, in the early 70s we had a major recession, and here we are in 2011 facing what could be a very serious recession, possibly depression. A blog report that we posted some time ago for you to read was the 100 years of capitalism and how the markets expand and contract. The reason I bring that up is because there's nothing that we haven't gone through right now. We have been as a country here before, it's not new. The question is, how do you make money during times like these? The good news is, you must be flexible. The other good news is, you have to have a powerful technology that is available today, and that is our trade triangles. Today was a good example. When we had a signal to exit out of our gold for intermediate term traders with a weekly trade triangle, you can also see we've been short and out of the equity markets since August. All you have to do is just check our weekly and monthly trade triangles to see what I'm saying is correct. So here's the question to you. How can you possibly have money in gold, stocks, or commodities without having access to our market-proven trade triangle technology? If you're trading by the seat of your pants in today's markets, you're going to lose, period. It is far more expensive to go it alone and not have our service. This has been proven time and time again. As we came in this morning, Europe was under tremendous downside pressure. Some would say that the hens have come home to roost, but the big surprise for many traders was the huge drop in commodities and gold. I think many investors moved into gold thinking it was a safe haven. In the long term, they could possibly be right, but these aren't buy and hold markets anymore. The world has changed and you need to adapt to this new investment world or you will not survive. In the current markets, you need to be aware of the direction of the trend and where to place your money. Our mission here at Market Club is to help you survive and thrive in these uncertain times. Now let's go to the six major markets we track and update every trading day and see how we can help you create and maintain your wealth in 2011. Okay, we're at my homepage, as you've seen this before many times, and that was a rather long monologue, but I wanted to just share with you, these things aren't, nothing's new. We've seen this before, but there's some great opportunities, and that's the key thing, some great opportunities to make money. So let's go to the Portfolio Manager, and I'm going to look at our first market, which is the S&P, which you see is minus 100, which means it's a very strong downtrend. The downtrend has kicked in that all cylinders are firing. There's our weekly trade trial that came in at 11.36 today. The market's trading at 11.30, not so far down. But this is going to be very important tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday, the end of the week, and it's getting close to the end of the month. This is going to prove to be a very powerful day tomorrow. But let me put my telestrator on because I want to share with you what we've been talking about and we, you know this is true because we've said about it several times and that is we move down here like this and we talked about this big flag formation and it's broken out on the downside, very negative. Uh, we are clearly this 1120 area is a very major area in terms of closing. If we close below this area it's going to be very negative, and it's possible we could even close there today. I don't know, but certainly tomorrow is going to be. Who is wanting to go home long this market on the weekend? I think nobody, and I think we could see this market still come down even further. Our target right now for the S&P 500 is 1,000. 
and then 950. Those two levels are our intermediate term tr targets from this formation alone. Now, continuation formations continue to build, and we'll keep you updated. But this is not a good sign with our daily, weekly, and monthly trade trials all pointing down. You have to go with the trend. We've talked about this before, and you can see our trend kicked in here. And we don't get monthly signals that often. So when we get them, you really want to pay attention to them and trade with them because they can help you survive and thrive in 2011 and 2012. And from what it's worth, I think cycle-wise, 2012 is not going to be a particularly good year. I think we can see the market still be under, on the defensive. But we'll approach that year when we get there. So let's take everything off the screen, clear the screen. Go to our next market, and we, the next market is going to be silver. Now, this is something really we want to chat about because this type of formation we're seeing here, we've sort of meandered along, uh, but this is not necessarily a good sign. Here we like this. We sort of broken through this level here, and it would appear as though we're going to see some further defensive action. Uh, we had a signal uh, uh, four days ago right here on the 19th uh, at 39.29. Uh, so that was a signal to get out of any longs, long-term trades, short-term trades, intermediate-term trades could actually go short. Uh, but a long-term trend indicator is still positive on gold from 1874. So again, we're going to be watching that monthly trade triangle because it's very, very important. But I can't imagine this market just rallying from these levels anytime soon. I think we have a lot. It's We can say, we can argue that yes, it's very, very oversold, which it is. But we are turning, we're still down on the MACD. Uh, you are probably out. Let's just put our trade, oops, let's just put our Dungeon Trade uh, channels in here. And uh, I can do that in just a second. And you can see we're way out of the channel, uh, which is a really an extreme move today. But it will, chances are we can come into the channel, but this, this channel can turn down pretty quickly. So let's just watch this market. If you're not in silver, there's no reason to jump in and buy it now. It is not the time. Uh, if we are still positive on silver, meaning our monthly trade trial is still positive, we'll be looking for a place to get long, but not right now. So next market is going to be the gold market. And of course, this was the big shocker for a lot of people today. And we, you can see our we kicked in at 762.45 or today. So our weekly intermediate term and short term are all negative. You can see from 1762, uh, from 1857 on the daily. So if we put the dailies in, you can see it's pretty high up close to the highs. And this is, of course, our concern has always been with this market has been in terms of, is this a, we were looking for a, a double top right here. And if it is, how far can we go down? Well, if you just measured this just from this standpoint, let's say the 1700 level to the 1900 level is $200, you could zip this down or just per, shoot this down. And you could be looking somewhere like, this level here, down to 1,500. Uh, it's just around these levels, I think. So the possibility is, yes, could it go back to 1,500? Yes, it could. And nothing has to change. It could just be long liquidation. If you remember, and if you've seen this, and everyone's watched TV, you've seen everyone selling gold, selling gold, selling gold, and for you to buy, for you to buy, for you to buy. And the question is, if it's so great, why would everybody be selling it? So I think there's something that's going on right now. But let me take everything off the screen because I want to show something to you um, really quickly. I want to go to just a close only chart, which we like to see. As you can see, I'll take this also. I'll take the, the Fibonacci off. We've looked at that. And I'll also take off the Johnson trade channels. Now look, this is if this takes out this level right here, and this is 1754 or 1742 right now. If we close down here, this confirms this is a pivot point, and it would indicate you're going to see a further move down. And you're moving um, so somewhere at the 1750 to 1900, it's 150. So you're looking at $16 on a close-only basis. So I, yes, I could think that gold could can go higher, uh, but like everything else, you need to follow the trade trials. It's very very important. Let's go to our next market. Next market is going to be crude oil. We've been talking about crude oil. If you remember, our monthly trade trial in crude oil came here. 
and that is let me just take that off our monthly came in here at 9604 we're currently trading 81 is fifteen thousand dollars a contract on a long-term trade um, again if we close we close here at 83.74 or 81.21 very negative uh, can oil go to seventy dollars a barrel absolutely absolutely if gold goes to fifteen hundred and then you see uh, the equity markets go to nine fifty on the S&P 500 yes we can see that market the trend is clearly down and you can see a push like from these levels similar pattern boom we talked about this mirror image that the crude oil markets taken in to consideration with the equity markets and this is true proven to be very true so let's go take a look at our next market and this is uh, one of the bright spots here we talked about we've been very bullish on this index as you know uh, for a number of reasons uh, mainly because we had a huge energy field which we talked about and have talked about all the time and you go back to any of our videos in the last two or three weeks and you'll see we were saying this is a very large energy field and this is a very clear breakout uh, and I'm sorry I didn't draw that very well but you can get the idea the breakout was right here at 76.10 and we are targeting this market to go to the eight about the eight somewhere in these targets zones right here between 80 and 81 everybody wants to own dollars they don't own gold they don't own the euro and they want to own dollars and this is against a basket of currencies not just against the euro it's a basket of currencies and it's still very very positive in my opinion so let's just clear this off the screen and go to our next market and the next market is going to be the Reuters Jeffries CRB index which really took a hit today and one line I want to draw in I didn't have time to do this before I came in but I just want to draw this line in and see no it's not quite there I, I don't quite like that for the moment but here's the here's the thing with the this particular index the trend is clearly down I'm gonna go max on this so you'll get an idea so you can see the month this is why the monthly trade trials are so powerful and so important for you to follow here's the, here's the I'm just gonna go back to the last couple of years we're going back to 08 here's the big move the buy here and uh, let me just take this the sell here so you have this move here catch that you could go short here you could have caught this and of course this is you can trade options and futures on the CRB index also ETFs you would have gone long here to caught the move up here you would have gotten out probably a small loss on that one but you would have caught the move up here certainly and you would be out of this market or short this market from this last level we have and I have to clear the screen off but uh, the last level was 335.10 it's 309 right now so you can see the the power of these trade triangles and if you're trading without them you really at a huge disadvantage and I think that's something you really want to watch very carefully but anyway uh, lastly I just want to leave you we do have one-on-one -on -one market club personal coaching we've talked about this uh, probably every show we've done we think it's very important you need to have a mentor to help you become a successful trader and this program will help you become a successful trader just call the number on your screen 1-877-219-1482 and speak to one of our personal coaching consultants there's nothing going to cost you anything uh, just let them explain what the program is and how it can possibly help you so give them a call today I think you'll be glad you did hey this is Adam Hewison till tomorrow have a great day trading and don't go long this market now it's like catching a falling knife you're only going to have problems the only market you should be long right now is the dollar index so Adam